Welcome to King's Pick 6. I gotta say, last week was a good week. I finished, my football picks were 12-4. and four. On the season, I'm now 69-56. and 56. Uh, My pick 6 finished 4-2. and two. <sighs> Those Ravens. <laughs> uh, Cardinals decided to get a last-second field goal to try to get an onside kick to win the game and ruin my spread. <sighs> and the Chiefs just flat out didn't do it. I've been talking trash about the Chiefs all season long. The week I decided to mess around with the Chiefs and too bad they had just dropped the ball. And sh- my Sharks finished eleven and five. So last week was a good week, but it's a new week, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. This is a sports equinox. Well, what does that mean? That means that all the sports are now on TV. Um, got NFL's already been going. Um, the NBA just started. Baseball is wrapping up. Um, college basketball starts soon. Hockey is going strong. It's a great time of sports betting, and I'm going to go ahead and get started with my multi-sports bet. Now you see I'm decked out in my Hornets gear, switching up a little bit this week. So my pick six this week, I'm going with the Saints, minus seven. They showed me everything they showed, showed me last week, so whenever I see them against an inferior team, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. This week, the Saints have the Bears. Um, the Bears, their fun is over. I don't see them keeping up with the Saints. It's going to be just like last week when the Saints um, took out the Colts. So I'm taking the points on that. Um, next up is the Browns. Browns have the Cardinals. Um, the Cardinals had a long stretch not covering the spread for some reason last week. I decided to pick the spread with the uh, Ravens, and guess what? The Cardinals covered. They still lost. And the Browns are so mad about that one point win that had them at minus 2.5. So, therefore, I'm taking the Browns money line. Uh, next up is the Ravens and the Seahawks. The Ravens are a minus 5.5. This is going to be a close game. I, I might, if it was like a 2.5, I might have thought about it, or a 1.5, I might have thought about it, but no, I'm not taking that chance. So I'm taking the Ravens money line. For number four, I'm going to step out. I'm looking at the Raptors against the 76er game on Thursday night, November 2nd. And I'm rolling with Embiid for this. Um, obviously the points are for this. Injuries could ruin this for me, but I'm going to go ahead and do it now. I'm taking Embiid. 30 points. They've already played once this year, and Embiid put up 34. So I think it's going to happen again. This is at home, too. That was on the road. And Embiid is 35, um, 34, and 24 on the season. The 24 is the first game of the season. I think now he's getting back in his stretch. Get those 30 point games back to back to back to back. Uh, next up, I'm looking at college football. Um, Ole Miss is taking on Texas AM. Ole Miss has one loss this season on the road. At Bama, and they have their signature win is LSU at home. They're undefeated at home. So I'm going to take Ole Miss to get it done. I believe in Lane Kiffin. Um, it's a minus three, so I'm taking the points with that as well. And last but not least, I'm looking at the NHL. Uh, Bruins and Maple Leafs. Bruins are once again showing out this year. Maple Leafs are not. So I'm going to go and take the Bruins money line. So this is my pick six. Make sure you follow me for my... Sharks parlays, and I might be sharing some of these bets during the week. Uh, I, I don't share them all, but I promise I will share more. Follow me at California King on whatever platform you're watching this on. These are my picks. They might not be your picks, but they are mine. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. King out.